quiet that the freeze blast lady who called the NSAS protesters a problem to the society. Famous radio broadcaster that the freeze recently blasted a young lady who called the NSAS protesters a problem to the society. The lady had written that the protesters were blocking the road so foodstuffs are no longer able to come into the state of Lagos State. The lady pointed out that the protests were causing more problems than solutions. She wrote, if you are in Lagos and the food prices increase by 40% from tomorrow, don't say it's Wario. Lagosians are not core farmers and the neighboring states that brings farm produce have been blocked by the protesters. We are our own problem. That the freeze replied that the young lady should keep quiet and if food isn't able to come in to the state, we would all fast. We all know that the freeze is also very interested in our fight against SARS. So it was pained that a fellow Nigerian would try to belittle the efforts of other Nigerians at making things better. Thank you for listening to this news. My viewers, well, I would say the lady is actually making a point, but so sorry, madam. Yes, we all contributed to what we are going through now, including you. You contributed. So enjoy the punishment. Are we not the one that brought the President Momo Bari into power? So why are we agitating? Why the tears and why the agitation? Why the many cries? This should be what we should be enjoying and not lamenting. We said we want change and that change is what we are getting. We said we want a new government and that is what we are getting. So why the sudden lament? Look, we all, we suffer it. Don't worry. Even if food stuff increase by 60%, Nigerians will buy it. God has been faithful since the beginning of this protest. God has been merciful since the beginning of this protest. You have nothing to worry. God has been providing. The government that feels that we will all suffer it, we will eat, God will provide for us. Since this protest, have we not been eating? Have we not been eating? Has God not been providing? Has God not been faithful? So why the lament? Don't worry. Don't worry. Let the whole road be blocked. Not until the government heed to the cry of the people. Not until the government say, oh, we are sorry. And prefer a solution to the problem. This protest will continue. So, that the freeze is not wrong. He is very much right. If there is any other way of attacking you, I would have preferred, I would have advised that the freeze to attack you in that way. But this one he gave to you is, is a very, um, is a very little one. And he didn't attack you very well. Because, yes, you are complaining anyway. You are saying where it's really paining you. But so sorry. That is what we all asked for. Look at what we are going through today. It's all our own cause and also our own fault. That Nigerian is not doing well today is all that we cost with our own hand. Alright? So, let us all face it, including myself. No need to, to be biased in this fact. We all chose President Mohobari. We said we want him to come into power and that is what we are facing. I remember vividly well when the President Momo Buhari led a revolution and not a protest. He led a revolution against Good Luck Jonathan's administration then, then, then. 
Then we look Jonathan removed subsidy. And I know how the president, Mohamed Buhari, led the, a large number of people. In fact, hey, my viewers, I think we are the one killing ourselves in fact. We have made we, we have made a terrible mistake believing that we have elected the right person. Unknown to us that we've been deceived. We have been deceived. We have gone to elect a headstrong person. Okay, look at instead of him to be thinking of how to end or find a solution to the problem, he is planning to release, to roll out the troops, the Nigerian soldiers on the protesters. See Abuja now, as at today, Abuja is on fire. As at early morning today, the protesters were being chased by the soldiers in Abuja. A lot of people died. A lot of people died. I tell you, you really need to see things yourself. See what the people are going through. See what the people passed through from the ends of these hoodlums called soldiers. You, you need to see. And you call him a president. He is not my president. He is your president. That is what you called for. You understand? So let us be wise. Let us be mindful. Let us be careful. Let me use the opportunity to talk to protesters out there in Nigeria. Please, my protesters, this is an advice for you. No one is asking you not to protest by tomorrow. But by tomorrow, when you are protesting, protest with your senses. Be watchful when you are protesting. Be careful when you are protesting. Don't don't just protest, but protest and watch. Because tomorrow, protest is going to be a different one. Because the president, our headstrong president, has released the soldiers on protesters. And this is a warning that has been given to him by Femi Falana, that he should not make that attempt. But now that he has made our attempt, then he should be ready to face the music. He should be ready to face the music based on what he's going to get tomorrow. Because the International Criminal Court will invite him and he will be, he will, he will be able to, he, 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 he should be able to answer. He should be able to answer. You understand? So my viewers, I don't really know what your comment concerning all that has just been said maybe but then deem it fit to leave your comments below the comment box click on the subscription button as well as the bell button to get updated whenever we upload any new videos